Hey, every folks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, folks. Uh, welcome back for more. You've guessed it. Coral Island. Hey, let me know in the comments below how you knew this was a Coral Island Let's Play. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be petty there. I just, I just don't know how to mix up my intros now. So I'm just saying things. And um, I'm starting to think that I'm like getting kind of aggressive, like needlessly aggressive in these intros. This is an impromptu Coral Island Let's Play. Why? Because it's the 4th of July. And I really told myself I wasn't going to play anything or record anything on the 4th of July. I was just going to touch grass. But there's a festival running today. No, but I mean, there is. But okay, I have a... Th <laughs> I was watching some LPs of like Coral Island, just the initial like couple five episodes of, of a series from different playthroughs and stuff, just checking things out. And there's this one person, um, their YouTube channel is introver uh, Introverted Comma or Comma Introverted. I'll show you what it looks like. They basically were showcasing like the mines and how to mine. And every time I look up like mining videos, um, for Minecraft, no, for mining video, mining tips, I haven't seen this, but it was like how to use dynamite, like what it actually looks like and how much surface area it covers, but also rope, like you can make rope, I mean we know we can make rope, right, but a part of me was like, why am I gonna make rope, what's rope gonna be used for, so silly, but it takes a lot of fiber to use, and fiber is actually not that hard to come by, but this rope, you basically make your own sinkhole to repel from like it's genius so how much of things can we make for energy i don't even know hold on there's like an energy thing for for mining i think where is it oh by the way i'm so excited for medium fish but medium fish bait we're gonna go to the lake and fish um that's what we're gonna do there's like two fish there that are like medium um what does it require seaweed and any insect oh that's hard <laughs> that's actually hard to make anyways here we are ball of goop wow Slime goop. Oh, it takes three to make for this? Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll do a bit of a... Oh, man, we really can't... Sorry, I was hoping that we would have enough slime goop to make a lot of goop to eat goop, but uh, it doesn't look like we'll have enough. However, we can use dynamite, explosives, okay, and rope. We're gonna make two of these. Why not already, okay? And then we're gonna make explosives. That'll happen in time, and we're gonna take the mining stuff seriously. Um... As much as I kind of find it like a chore to do, honestly, it's, um, I mean, it's one of the good money makers to do, but you have to actually make significant headway in the caverns in order for it to really pay off. So it's about high time that I start doing that. You know what I mean? Anyways, let me put things away and start watering some plants and get ready for the festival because either either way you spin it, we're going to go to the festival. I mean, we want to go to the festival. It's not like we have to go to the festival. We want to go to the festival. It's going to be nice to go to the festival. It's nice to go places. And honestly, you being a shut-in is just, I just got to say it, it's unbecoming. You want to get out more. Okay, and this festival I think will be a good, you know, step for us to really try new things. Hey, so just as a side note, I'm starting to see some screen tearing on my end. Not sure if it's happening to the recording, so give me one second. I'm going to reboot my system and then see what's up. Because, you know, you don't want screen tearing on recorded gameplay if that's what's happening. One second. Okay, so i am not seeing the screen tearing maybe i am maybe it's my eyes well the recording thankfully did not have screen tearing recorded so it's definitely like the game in my gpu <laughs> there's always something wrong with my pc but it looks to be better on my end and honestly i couldn't care if it was screen tearing on my end just as long as you get your 1080p 60 fps footage um I don't even know if it really uploads that way. I have a feeling like it doesn't <laughs> on your end. At any rate, um, I just realized I said July 4th, and that was very um, Amerabrain of me, very US-centric. So I feel like I should at least explain it to viewers who are not in the US. It's the least I can do. So here in the United States, um, we celebrate the U.S. making it to the final round of 16. Um, we make it into the playoffs, and after um, basically being the underdogs in the entire sport that we did, we make it to our Super Bowl and we win the big title. It's It was wild, a comeback you did not 
you just weren't you, you didn't expect it you really didn't and we obnoxiously call it like the world championship when it's really more of like a national title that's what fourth of july means and we celebrate it with barbecues with fireworks and um kind of seeing family that sometimes we like and we don't like it's really a toss-up and it really depends on the person the screen tearing is back oh god but you know what i'm looking at the recording of it and it's just like i'm just looking back at the window that is recording the footage and it just it looks fine it really does i don't know what it is what's happening it's all out of whack. I knew going impromptu was a bad idea, but I was just so excited. I was like, we're gonna use mines, we're gonna use rope, and we're gonna go for it because <sighs> mining is, you know, there's a, there's money to be made in mining. And I, but the thing is too, like, I really like fishing. I like scuba diving. I don't know why. I used to like mining in like other games, but, and, and this game's version of mining isn't so dissimilar to, other farm sims that incorporate mining, I just, for whatever reason, cannot, cannot do it. It is mind-numbing. Um, but hopefully these explosives and these fiber will help. Um, and again, fiber is actually really easy to get. So, huh, what am I going to do? I think this is going to be, I'm just so excited. One thing that is, is a problem though is the fact that um anytime i'm done watering plants look at my stam i'm at half i mean i need to level up farming I, I guess we'll level it up in a couple of days but we need to do something to help us mitigate this so chance to leave seed behind know about this chance to for crops to grow faster oh wow we kind of need that and that will help with watering in the long term because if it's you know, harvested, then it is what it is. But anyways, chance for watered soil to stay watered the following day. 25% chance, that's a quarter. Maybe we get that one. At any rate, uh, let's put the watering can away and let's check our mail. I just realized that we have that here. So here's some fish for you, what to do? Oh, and then it's been a while since my last letter. How are you doing over there, sweetheart? We miss you every day. Ashley is giving me a hard time lately. She refused to eat her favorite food and are out most nights. We'll take her to vet soon. We made you some clep clepons, uh, your favorite. Ashley, you're taking her to the vet? That is a grown ass woman and you're taking her to a vet? No, I'm kidding. Okay, so I guess it's our family pet. <laughs> what is this storyline? Anyways. Let's check out the food though. Is a food restore a uh, stam? It does, by a lot. Oh, thanks grandma. So we're gonna throw in the barracuda here, but we're gonna hold on to that for when we go mining. That's key. Thanks lady that I actually don't know that kind of hinders our RP. Now the chicken festival is today. Where, where is it? Where is it held? I don't remember. Come back between nine and two to start the festival. Ah, it's in the main square. Got it. Got it. Here we go, it's nine o'clock. I'm just gonna put some of this stuff away. All I was doing was just hunting for stuff. All I was doing was just foraging. Um, but now we will start the festival. We don't have a pet. So unfortunately we can't play games. We're not playing games with people unless they have a game that doesn't require a pet. I feel so bad. I really should have bought a chicken early on. But anyways, hey, you live and you learn. I know these things now. Oh, this is so cool. What is this? Oh. Oh, everyone's got a pet? Oh, oh, well, I need a pet. I'm gonna dress up like a cow and, oh, wow, there's a rooster fighting, what is this? Oh, man. Oh, this looks like so much fun. Please tell me there's like more than like animal festival. Oh, I want a cat in real life and in game. Oh, everyone, this one's got a llama. Oh, look at everybody. <laughs> Say hi to January, fun bucket. I'm loving the good vibe here, love all around. Oh, look at his little duck. Oh, you've got a pet? Oh, you, you have a cactus on your head. Too bad you can't participate today, January, but don't worry, watching the action from the sideline is exciting too. Can I do betting? Can I place bets? I see you're ready for the festival today. Enjoy it and don't forget to introduce yourselves. Introduce the little ones to the others. I don't have. I don't have a pet. I mean, I guess I could have bought like one chicken. Do you need a barn or anything like that? A coop to... I mean, anyways. 
Festivals are always fun, but this one's special. We have lots of special guests for our four-legged friends here, too. Aww. Pablo here bet I wouldn't last three minutes on the mechanical bull. What do you think, Jan? Oh, can we? Is that like a thing? Can we do that? Hey, Leia. Kenny is such a good animal whisperer. He has a gift. Just saying, Noah, if you want some t someone to time you on the mechanical bull, I'm right here. Ha 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 ha. Uh, Peanut is so fluffy, I wonder how often you need to bathe a cat. Not often, I don't think. Hey, what's up, January? The coffee shop's closed. This day is for playing with the animals. Millie, welcome to our magnificent cannery. I love how... Love working with animals. Okay, cool. So... Oh, she has a raccoon? Hey, Zara, did I lock a door this morning? Well, oh, that wasn't her raccoon. That was just a raccoon. <laughs> okay. I'm um, having fun, January. I am. This is pretty cool. The atmosphere is today fantastic. Everybody loves and respects their pets. What an amazing day. Oh, the raccoon's gone. Oh, okay, so you can kind of just chase it away. What's all this then? I'm on duty today in case anybody gets hurt in mechanical bull or something. It's happened, trust me. Oh. I'll head over there to watch the contest soon. I'm just going to stretch for a bit. Cool. Hey, there's Mark. I'm glad I decided to come. Yeah, okay, cool, Mark. All right, what are we going to do today? How to play? Oh, it's a mini game. How to play. Stay on the bull until time runs out. Okay. Press the shown button. Or you will press the shown button or you'll get buckled or you'll get bucked and your lives decreased and will fall once your once you lives runs out. That's okay. Sure. Is there like a practice? Uh, start rodeo. Oh, there's no practice. I I'm gonna play it. Obviously. Ovs. And I suppose there's like a time for it. Uh, we'll start. What's the button for space? I don't know. But here I go. <laughs> rodeo time. Start. Press a, the button as soon as possible. X. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like a QTE event. Oop. Okay. Oh my gosh. We got this, folks. Ladies, oh no. Uh, we got this. We got this. We got this. We can do this. I was born to do this. I was made to do this. I'm sorry if I'm not commentating. I'm just so hyper-focused. I want to win something once in my life because we do not have a pet to participate in a pet animal festival. So this is my only chance to prove to people that I'm worthy. I'm worthy to be on this island. Oh boy. Hey, uh, how long, like, is there like a timer? Oh no, oh no, no. Ah, no, less than a minute. Oh, I died, leave me here on the ground to suffer. Cham did 75? Oh my god, Cham, seriously? I wish you could have known. <laughs> no! No! Oh, what a bummer. That, was, that wasn't that hard either. I want to do it again. Start rodeo. Oh, we can keep going? Okay, here we go. I'm trying to beat 75 then. Oh, we got a new record! We did it! We did it! Yes! We beat your jam! Which is kind of cheaty because, I mean, I guess you wouldn't get a second opportunity because wouldn't she want a second opportunity to? <laughs> Either way, we set a new record! We're famous! Let's see how long we can go for. Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay, there you go! What do we get for first place? Look at that. Summer Boyga. Oh, that's brilliant. What does the Summer Boyga do? Oh, we got more food. Oh, look at all this. This is gonna be good. All this stamina stuff. 340? Oh, man. You know what? And, and here's the thing, too. Let's set the settings to 50, the game speed. Mining tomorrow is gonna be lit. Uh, hopefully, uh, literally, when we light up some dynamite. 
So let's talk to people some more. Lily, this is so nice. Maybe the town will have an event for bonsai in the future. Like something in a design contest, maybe. I kind of want to watch, like, other stuff, but maybe I can't. If I don't have, like, a pet, can I just not watch her? We've been here since dawn, helping get the animals and decorations ready. You know, it'd be kind of cool is if you can actually join events early, in the sense, like, you help set them up. Like, you help, yeah, like, you help like areas get set up and that can give you like easy bonus points like with different NPCs that are like randomized that happen to be there that day I think that'd be really cool like just to help move all move along the relationship building because it can feel like a drag sometimes where's your chicken January you're a rancher I believe I'm the chicken um, I mean that metaphorically a uh, start chicken competition practice you can't join how do I watch how, do, how does it work how does it Oh, not, it's not here. Okay. Let's talk to everybody. Look at their pets. Are these their pets? Do you see our dance, Mr. January? My dad taught it to me. That's so cool. Look, look. They're so cute. They're dancing. Look at the little dogs. Taco has so much energy. Valentino, Taco is so much fun. We used to play this game all the time at the end for him. Oh, by the way, I know now who is uh, Valentina's father. It's Antonio. Where is he? Where is he? Antonio. Antonio is Suki's ex-husband and Valentina's dad. He owns the White Flamingo Boutique. While he's in Starlet Town, he stays in the inn. Ooh, that wasn't a firework. That was just a car. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, he is Valentina's father, the ex-husband of Suki. These two good-looking people. If there's anything I learned as the ugly friend, you they clear from two good-looking people's affairs. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Joko, ah, there's our farmer slash rancher. Good to see you, good to see ya. Uh, Dinda, Archie's having so much fun. That kid's good with animals. Uh, I might take my picture with Bonbon bon later, Sura. You know, Sura is interesting in that I barely see him outside the lab, but now that I've been to the lab and I know him now, or know of him, it's really interesting that, that I'm starting to see him more often after Frank and Erica are done with theirs. Wait, is, is Sura like, is he the son of, oh, I really wish there was. Like a relationship tree of some kind. Here's Ava. Betty was telling me how long Peanut and Butter have been with her family. Oh, okay, cool. It's a perfect way for animals and their human companions to bond. Okay, yeah, like, I'm gonna go through all of this. I'm not sure if you guys wanna, you know, know all of it, but I will go through all of it. Oh my god, look at this! This is amazing, look at this! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, man. Hey, Suki. I might do the mechanical bull later. Uh, not now, though. I just had some snacks. Okay, so I've spoken to everybody, and it looks like we're all going to be eating our pets later. So I'm kidding. What What is the main event? I am curious. Is that it? Like, I can't really partake in any other event. So, is there like a main event that we can all do? Because I I I, I can't <laughs> I can't do a pet race mini game. Yeah, I mean. How do I just, do I just exit out of this? I feel so, that's so, I'm sorry guys. I really wish I could have shown you more of this festival, but it turns out, um, I can't, I won't. What are you gonna do when you're a broke farmer, okay? Just a broke boy, leave me alone. Leave the festival? I think so, I mean, there's nothing else I can do. I've spoken with everyone already. And there's like no main event kind of thing that wraps it all up. That's another thing. I feel like every festival should have like a closing main event if you want to end the day and not just like leave. I mean, we'll see. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else I can do. And it's nighttime. I hate that. But anyways, let's go ahead and um, I'm just gonna get more resources around the farm and then close out the day. Okay, so with our stem all drained, we're gonna head back inside and rest, and then tomorrow we will go mining. When you look at that, our relationship with Waku and Leah has gone up. If you check fishing, oh right, the Barracuda, yeah. And if you're looking at the UI and it's like, why is it all weird now? Um, I'm using mouse and keyboard because the inventory for the controls, like using, a, like a controller and messing with your inventory is just so difficult. Like sometimes I'll use the D-pad. What does tab do? Tab doesn't do anything. Let me just fix some of the keybinds real quick. But yeah, using the controller with the and the inventory system for whatever reason, at least for me, is absolutely dreadful. <laughs> like I can't, I can't do it. I simply cannot 
Oh, we're harvesting. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> we're finally able to harvest. I really hope this is worth it. None of them look like they're any, any kind of special, to be honest. Oh no, what do we have here? We have three bronze radishes, seven bronze melons, and two silvers, and the rest are just pretty reg. Okay, well let's sell them and wish for the best. Now the thing is too, it's like we don't have... Hmm... We can keep the wheat and the gardena. I, want, I wanted to keep these two. We don't have... I guess we could go back and buy some fertilizer and stuff, and... I guess we could go back and buy more seeds. You know, I guess we could do that. I'm not sure, folks, what to do here. We're just not making enough money. So I feel like we have to keep like a farming loop of some kind, you know? Oops. Oh shoot, today's Eva and it's, <laughs> it's Eva and Emma's birthday. Oh, oh shoot, did I miss Sam's birthday? Oh shit, sorry, Sam. <laughs> I miss Connor's birthday? Shit, sorry, Connor. Oh no! <laughs> any flower and any arrangement? Okay, we'll make two. There we go. I hope it's like well liked because we've just dug into our flower uh, pile and these flowers can go for, you know, a lot in terms of like people's likes and stuff like that. Anyways, ah nice! So what I've also learned is that, you know how I always back away and like run away? Um, from catching an insect? I'm starting to learn like you just go for it. You just gotta move, you know? And, um, or go in front of it and hopefully it walks towards you. So that's kind of like how I'm going to improve. Who are these people? Oh, that's Emma. <laughs> we get a lot of bugs in the summer. Um, but there must be plenty at the farm too, huh? I mean, the forest is right there. Wow, cool. Okay, but we also get a lot of cosmos, the flowers. So I don't want to complain too much about summer. Oh, you like cosmos? Is that a thing? Oops, don't want to bug hunt you. <laughs> My truck is closed today. Probably won't get many customers anyway. And we have Dippa. Sometimes I use wool or fresh flowers instead of a brush. It's fun to change things up sometime. Could you move a little? You're in the way. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And let me give her the bouquet. This is for you. What? Can I not gift it? Oh, no! Ugh, did I make something and I can't give it to some... Oh, no. Why? What is the bouquet used for? In my experience, a bouquet is, is for giving. And I can't just give? Oh no, <laughs> what a waste of time. Well, look, there's this, right? Is this, what is this? It's, it's hibiscus. Can I give you hibiscus? Will you take this? I can, please take the hibiscus. This looks delicious, thank you very much. Oh, whatever, it's my birthday, you know? I do know, and I also know you rejected my bouquet. Like, what is, what's going on, people? And the next one's Eva, and it looks like we're just gonna have to figure something else out. Um, yeah, let's go buy her some coconut drink. Everyone loves a bit of coconut drink, don't they? I will buy... Oh, he only sells small fish bait. So if I want the medium one, I have to make medium uh, bait. Interesting, which means I need bugs. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, I'm making t fruit tart today. I used fresh blueberries, but you can use literally any fruit. Sam is a great boss. He may uh, be, seem off-putting at first, but he's actually really kind. He is direct, though. All right, cool. So, let me give you a thing. Would you like some coconut drink after all your hard work? I can't believe you remember my birthday. Thank you so much. Cool. I wonder if they're ever going to, like, celebrate their own birthdays, you know? It's like everyone doesn't have... <laughs> everyone forgets it's their birthday. Anyway, Sam, uh, let's just buy things. Yeah, let's just keep on our melon run, I think. Yeah, let's do that. No! No! What's going on? Why did that happen? Why did I buy a bunch of bread? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Why did I buy a bunch of bread? What happened there? Anyways, I don't know. This controller sucks. <laughs> oh, boy. How do we just buy a lot? Oh my god, why did that happen? Seriously. Oh my god, I bought five melons because I bought- How much was bread anyway? 90? What in the world just happened there? Oh, that's annoying. Alright, there you go. That's all I- <laughs> That's all I can plant for the day. Oh, uh, we got more mail. January, here's a recipe I used to make tart. Might be cheaper to make it yourself. Oh, thank you, Eva. She gave us a recipe. I- 
could have sworn she gave that to us before. Also, I, another thing I just realized, um, you know how my, look at my jumper, it's white and black. I don't remember ever changing my jumper to this color. Like even in the thumbnail, it's supposed to be black and like a gray uh, over jumper. I don't, I don't know what happened there. No, did you see? God. Oh, this fucking. Oh my god, I can't do the controller. I can't. I just find the controller like super help, super helpful, but it's just it's so hard. Oh, finally! Oh my god, <laughs> this is only level two. Oh my god. Oh, this is so brutal how long it takes. Oh, we found another one. Oh, feels good to be that kind of lucky, you know? Sorry, I'm just checking for more copper mines. Oh, also, check this out. I learned this from Pawverse. I think that's his channel. He said basically to hit that and then to follow the vein. Because then it'll lead you to, like, more ores and stuff. I've seen this before, but for whatever reason, I didn't... I tried- I took a hoe to it instead of a, a pickaxe, so... Here we go. Oh, look at that! Nice. There we go, and they got some bronze ore there. Love to see it. Okay. Let's jump down. Oh, thank god. Alright, cool. It is... 6.20 right now, so we're kind of getting close to that time. I really hope we can probably make it to 40. Great, great. We're not gonna waste any time there. We're just gonna jump. Oh man, 10 more. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. I can't do it. Inventory full, what? What? Why is inventory full? Unfill it. I'm so tempted to just to dip, like just to drop a bunch of stone. Like, oh, it's so useless. Just because of how easy it is to get, you know? Anyways, let's eat the corn in the cab. Great, and now let's open up the chest. We got spikes for monsters? I mean, they're not that hard, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But okay, cool, thank you for that, appreciate that. Um, what the heck? Okay, I guess those enemies aren't able to be hurt. This game, you know, I'm starting to realize, I think it's bugging out, to be honest. I may have hit a roadblock here. <laughs> With this series. Oh, no, we'll see. We'll see though. So right now I'm just sort of scouting So what I do often is I just kind of scout to see if there's bronze ore So that's sort of my priority if I see bronze ore I'm gonna mine that first and that requires me. Oh look at this Technically bronze ore the reason why I want to go for the ores first is because they have an opportunity You know if you're if you're lucky enough, which has happened a couple of times uh, to find the sinkhole Oh like that perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I could go for that vein. I'm not going to, because we're just, we're, we're getting late on time here. And I want to be able to, I want to try and actually uh, finish the cavern today. Can I do it in two hours? We'll find out, we'll find out. Oh my god, this is brutal. This is insane. I spent an hour and 20 minutes in this level. Nowhere closer to finding... Oh, this is this is bad. So what I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna use the copper ore that I found as dynamite. I'm gonna get dynamite. I think that's the next play. Oh, but you know what? For dynamite, we need um we need compost, I think. Okay, we're tired. Look at Oh, the hole is right there! The hole is right there, ladies and gents! Why did anyone say anything? <laughs> Damn it! Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, I hate myself, I hate myself today. <laughs> the thing is like, I'm in a tough spot because when you look at the time, yeah, I mean, we're, we're done. We're done for the day. Damn it. I can't, how did I miss that hole? All right, so let's end the day and end the episode. But of course, as always, we're gonna go ahead and summarize how much money we made. I'm very curious what our melon turnout will be. Fertilizer two. That's pretty freaking cool. Hell yeah. Then we have Eva and Ama. Oh, cool, cool. Wow. <laughs> okay, cool. 13K. 13K. Look at this. Look at this. So 247 per the one, right? Then we had three, two. Oh my god. We. Oh man, 284. See, this is why we need to so desperately increase our seed. Um. 
like our seedling upgrade thing from the lab and we will be able to do that in the next episode because we have the money this time and we definitely have the kelp essence oh man look at all this the radish see this uh see the radish is kind of hard so melon is actually it's 247 per so that melon is definitely key here i think melon is what i want to do because even with like 11 regular radishes that's like 1000 for bronze 327 I mean, yeah, we want we want melons. Melons is where it's at, but we have to time it so it doesn't wither um, at the end of the month, right? Because it, it has such a long growth period. All right, so with that all the way, let's just end the episode here. I have a lot to edit through. <laughs> I do want to thank you so much for joining me on this one. Um, just thank you, because I know that in a series like this, it can feel a little like a days ago. It can feel like there's so many things happening and not a lot of things are getting done. So I do appreciate you hanging in there and, and watching the series as I play through it. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the next one. It's 4th of July. I got to do things now. Um, like make another episode, perhaps. You don't know. All right. Bye for now. <laughs>